moving from a hometown of about 55,000 people to a home away from home of about 100 million people. Scary, huh? Ruby Batia made that transition. She went from Ajax, Ontario to satellite television. Ruby is a VJ on Channel V, and she is its newest, hottest sensation. So Tinder Bindra now with the sparkle they call Ruby. Egg so seen on Egg Kasin. Madhuri coming up first for you. Namaskar, my Anna. Nobody entertains you like BPL. Namaskar. Do you know what this is for? Well, Oi has turned 50 and we are celebrating. She's only 21 years old and been on satellite television for just over a year. But Ruby Bhatia is already a South Asian sensation. Ruby is a video jockey in Bombay for Star TV, South Asia's largest satellite network. The network is based in Hong Kong and owned by media magnate Rupert Murdoch. About 100 million people in 45 countries across Asia watch Star every day. And that's with Ruby, a Canadian spearheading this cultural onslaught. Hello, I'm Ruby Bhatia from Palmolive Ekkatin. People are reassured by an Indian face fronting a Western cultural invasion. Ruby is able to sell her Western style to one of the world's most ancient and still traditional cultures. You know it, Ekkatin? Oh, they're so confused. Oh, leave them alone. We've got plenty of people here. Oh, another garment. Welcome to Bangalore, Ruby. Oh, thank you so much. Let's talk about sex. I mean, whenever I want to, I can go back to the sincerity and, and warmth of my Indian culture. Whenever I want to, I can, uh, you know, take on the aggressive, confident outlook that being a Canadian woman has given me. So I've got both. When I'm out in my career, I think I'm more Canadian because I've got more of that. When I'm at home, I'm more Indian. Satellites are beaming faces like Ruby Bhatia across the world. And what makes Ruby so internationally appealing is she's a North American suburban girl, but Indian style. That comes from being raised just outside Toronto. <laughs> Ruby's at home today, in Ajax, Ontario and her friends have surprised her with a 21st birthday party. Also at the party, Ruby's mom, a school teacher. Her dad works for General Motors. Both immigrated to Canada and settled in Ajax about 25 years ago. I was never held back from anything and it's given me the drive and the motivation and the confidence to go out anywhere in the world and do anything. NHL, watch out. Here I come. Just two years ago, Ruby was a very beautiful, but very ordinary teenager. Suddenly, my life took such a drastic turn. I can't even, you know, I can't even explain it. I'm still kind of baffled what happened, you know. Ruby's journey to stardom began in an old-fashioned way with the Canadian beauty contest in 1993. Her prize? A trip to Bombay, India. That's where she auditioned as a video jockey for Star TV and landed a big contract. Don't think I'm sexy. I'm not as good as you are, Ruby. No, no, I think you're sexy to a different type of people and I'm sexy. Ruby's success goes hand in hand with the global explosion of satellite TV. She's taking Western TV where it's never been before, changing the way people talk, the way they think, the way they dress. I think the fact that she's a hybrid has a lot to do with it because she, she has that, the Western polish and the confidence to pull it off. But at the same time, you know, people identify with her because she's still an Indian. Kalyani Vitala is a Toronto-based writer just back from India. She says satellite TV and its stars are becoming increasingly controversial there. A lot of people are concerned, you know, especially parents. They feel that um, traditional Indian values are being eroded. 
that, you know, you know, when they see young women like Ruby prancing around in mini skirts and, you know, short hair, that somehow this is going to affect the psyche of their children. You are my chicken fry. You are my fish fry. You are my chicken fry. But Ruby's irresistible to the Indian media and gets movie star style coverage. When I first went to India, I had a very strong feeling of being a Canadian in India because everybody was like, there's that girl from Canada. It was such a strong part of my identity. And for about six months, I was in a real toss-up. Am I Indian or am I Canadian? But I realized at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. The point is I'm a human being, and that's what I have to focus on. Because in today's world, you can't, um, you can't define yourself by one country. You have to realize that you're a human being that has every part of the world in you some way. And these sexy hot numbers, should they or should they not be playing? Yes or no? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. She talks a lot and uh, just on that topic, she's uh, so popular in India, she's just been nominated for one of India's leading TV awards. Can we catch her here in Canada? Sadly, we can't. No, we can't. Okay. Thank you, Satinder. We like hearing your thoughts about our newscast, the stories that we do for you. So give us a call. Our the purpose of MTV and its imitators is to promote music. They're hosted by video jockeys, the VJs. They're young, hip, and usually gorgeous. They sell the music, the clothes, the cosmetics, the look. Now, as satellite television is opening up the world for consumerism, Satinder Bindra tells us there's a place for a special variety of VJ, one made in Canada. Namaskar. I wonder if I kiss it, if it would turn into my Prince Charming. I could never do anything right. She's only 21 years old. 